to breaking news right now. Was there an abuse of power and repeated violations of state law at the Fort Myers Police Department? The Fort Myers Police Union is calling for the removal of the officer in charge of their Internal Affairs Bureau, claiming she can't do her job in a credible way. Wink Investigates reporter Peter Fleischer broke the story and now uncovers why the police union is so upset and how the interim chief is responding. All right, obviously we're having some issues there with his signal. This action started on June 15th with this letter addressed to Fort Myers interim police chief Randall Pepitone. Through their attorneys, the police union expresses serious concerns about Internal Affairs Commander Lisa Brenneman, citing alleged malfeasance, abuse of power, and repeated violations of Florida statutes and FMPD department policy. The letter was sent to Pepitone from Weldon and Rothman, attorneys for the International Union of Police Associations, the union that represents the Fort Myers Police Department. While the letter doesn't name any specific internal affairs cases where Brenneman allegedly has a conflict of interest, it does pull an excerpt from the Jensen Hughes report. The Jensen Hughes report was an independent audit into a complaint from former FMPD Inspector General Donald Oswald into former FMPD Major William Newhouse. It published in April 2022. Their review found that the internal affairs investigation FMPD conducted was insufficient and suggested that FMPD may request a sworn or certified instructor from a separate agency when a conflict is identified. After citing Jensen Hughes, this letter ends by demanding Pepitone fully remove Brenneman from all pending internal affairs investigations. Documents show Pepitone responded 15 days later on June 30th. In his reply, Pepitone said he will not be removing Brenneman, while neither acknowledging or denying the existence of investigations into her, Pepitone claims she knows not to use her position to influence any investigations. While Wink News hasn't seen any further communications between Pepitone and the union's attorneys, I obtained an email sent from union member and current FMPD officer David Gade. Dated July 7th, Gade emailed every Fort Myers City Council member, City Manager Marty Long, and Interim Chief Pepitone. He repeats the union's demand and includes its response to Pepitone's decision. The letter claims morale at FMPD is worse than it was prior to the free report and ends by telling Pepitone this inaction is an embarrassment and a stain on the legacy of Chief Derek Diggs. I've reached out to FMPD and Lieutenant Brenneman and Fort Myers City Council for comment about this story, but so far no one has been willing to speak with me on camera. However, sources at FMPD confirm these documents show this department is divided and frustrated at this time. Of course, we'll continue to follow this story and bring you the latest information both on air and online as it becomes available. Reporting in downtown Fort Myers, investigative reporter Peter Fleischer, WIC News.